Taylor Rio and Lillian Yule's Fruit Fly Lab answers. We used the simulation to collect our data by changing the eye color and wing shape of the maternal fruit fly and keeping the father as a wild type. Then we crossed both of the flies that we created and saw how the traits were passed down to the offspring, and then created another cross with the offspring and saw how the traits were passed then were then passed down to their offspring. This showed what kind of traits they were based off of what was shown in the simulation. There was a tab in the lab that said analyze for our results. This helped us set up a chi-square test to determine if the traits were linked together during the crossing of traits. We were able to check our results by performing our chi-square on our own, which we got the same answer. We interpreted our results by looking at how the offspring actually came out and how the traits that were passed on to them from their parents determined what kind of trait was passed on to them. After performing the chi-squared test helped us determine if the two, if the traits that were passed on were linked together. Since our chi-squared value was more than the degrees of freedom number, our null hypothesis was rejected, and the traits that were passed on to the offspring were not like were not linked during the crossing over of. We decided to present our results the way we did because providing pictures to show what resulted from our experiment proves to others that we saw what we saw and why we believe our statement. Also showing the math we did with the chi-squared proves why our data showed up the way it did and proves our data statistically. Our first claim states that we thought the traits were going to be linked because we didn't think that the X length or autosomal mattered in the crossing over the traits. However, we found out that the chi-squared value was in fact over the degree of freedom value, meaning that, we were not that they were not actually linked. Also, since one of our traits, eye color, is X linked, it will be found on the X chromosome while the wing-shaped traits is autosomal trait and will not be found on the X chromosome. We abandoned our other claim because it did not follow the, with the value we received from the chi-square test. We are very confident that our claim is correct because we performed the crossover many times to make sure we understood how the traits were passed on and what kind of traits they were. We also checked our math on the chi-squared by performing with the computer simulation and then performing it on our own. To increase our confidence, it would be nice if we could check our work with other team who did the same experiment as us and see if they got the same results we did.